Hello everybody and welcome back to Somerset Andy's channel and welcome back to something a little bit different as you can see I have ready to start assembling the Metcalf mainline station booking hall which is P0320 this is going to be for a new uh, layout that we're going to build in a spare bedroom. Uh, so I'll quickly um, talk through what is happening with the layout, uh, the new layout. Basically, we were planning next weekend to have the skip here and clear the spare bedroom out completely as a blank shell ready for the baseboards to go in but obviously now with this lockdown again that has had to go on hold because obviously people can't come in the house because obviously I can't do it on my own so the bed everything's got to come out so I can't do it on my own so that part has actually been put on hold at the moment the actual plan I've come up with with the new layout is basically where the main part of the layout is going to go the room is approximately 10 foot by 7 foot where the main baseboards to go but what I've actually decided to do is actually use 2 foot width boards with the space in the middle uh, the reason I've decided to do this, two reasons basically, the main reason is doing it like this, everything's accessible, you can reach anything easily, and you can sit in the middle as well, so the second reason is, <coughs> excuse me, if you're sat in the middle, you can see everything, so it will look you will see everything and as you walk into the room you will see part of the building obviously you see everything when you walk in as well like so that's the reason that I chose to do this we will add extra boards as well like for depots and things and that as much as we can fit with the space in the room and hopefully might even get a little fiddle yard in there somewhere but time, time will tell with that so yeah that's that's the plan for the layout uh, i'm looking really forward when we can actually start uh, sorting this out but obviously like i say with a lockdown unfortunately that has been put on hold so i thought i thought right with this lockdown i'm not going to see anyone basically like i thought i need some projects to do so the new layout is going to be a mainline free station station so I thought right let's get the mainline station booking hall from Metcalf and I've also got arriving this week the station parcels office because they all fit together which is P0 <coughs> oh, excuse me going to set P0321 I've got one of those arriving I think it's Friday I think it's Monday, I've got the wall back platform canopy, I've got two of them coming, that's P0341. And then I will use to extend the platforms, the stone platform kits, all Metcalf, which is P0235. So yeah, I thought I'd do, I'd do this one and um, basically look at the instructions i gotta put the first two side ones start to put them together which is left and right uh basically do the first one then as you can see on the box the other one's a mirror image of it sort of thing like if i just zoom in a bit you might be able to see it a bit better yeah there you go that so basically you do the, I think you do the one on the left first 
you start to build that and you build the one on the right then you start to build the main one before it all it all comes together sort of thing like so that is um yeah that is basically where you start with a build but i can highly recommend metcalf car kits i find the instructions as you can see behind you can see part of the instructions the instructions are very very clear very well written we've had uh, like super quick kits over the years and they were flimsy compared to Metcalf card kits the instructions were terrible so I know they're cheaper but like you say you get what you pay for so yeah I'm going to start um what I'll do, I'm going to start building the first part of this one, and what I'll do, I will come back and put um, little, show you little bits of what I've done so far and that, and um, we'll take it from there. So, yeah, let's see how we get on with this, and say thank you for watching, and I will start doing a bit of building, and see how we get on, I'll see you again soon with another little update. Okay. I will say bye for now, bye for now. Alright, okay, this is the progress so far with this first build with this Metcalf kit. Um, all on the left, the windows and the door. Uh, I fitted all the glaze in into the window frames and with the door as well now that has took a long time on its own to cut the pieces out and that and actually fit them but one thing i will say with these metcalf kits they are brilliant fun to build but if you haven't built one before and you you're thinking of trying them don't rush don't rush take your time let the glue dry because I found in the past personally when I first started building them if you try to rush it too quick you can make errors with them the instructions are fantastic with them but I found many years ago when I started building them if I thought oh I can do a bit more tonight I'll get that done and then that's when you can get a bit tired and make errors and things and that so yeah don't don't rush the build so basically next up as you can see the main part of the building is in front with this this is the left hand side of the main building uh the the gray modules at the back they fit inside the walls as extra support and they also support the inner strengthening cards which i will show you later on so basically now i've got to fit fit those two in then fit the windows and the door in and then once i've done that i will come back with that one so i'll see you in a little while bye for now okay we're back again as you can see the windows in their frames are all fitted and the actual two side supports are now all glued in the three parts you can see which what i got to do next is the inner supports for these ones like for this part so um i'll just flip it over so you can see the windows on the main outside okay there you go with it flip side up the proper side see the windows are in doors in and uh yeah so the next stage is just to fit the three inner formers in and then wrap this building round and that stage of this part of this building will be complete as far as you go and then i've got to do the opposite one vice versa like cause it's a, it's like mirror image of this one so yeah i will get that done and we will have another look okay see you in a minute
Okay, as you can see now, the inner formers, the three of them, are now in place. It's the lower tier, the middle tier, and the highest tier. So all I've got to do now to finish this part, which is the last bit I'll do tonight, I've got to wrap around the two cards you can see in front that are still out, and that actual module part of it will actually be then uh, finished. And then I'll have to do the mirror version, the other side, exactly the same. So I'll just glue those together. Just glue these ones together and I will show you the finished part of this one. Uh, I will be back soon. Okay everyone, that is this first module. This part of the build is complete. As you can see where it wraps around obviously the white bits is where it fits on to the main middle part of the station so what i'll do now i will quickly just pan round and show you it from the other three angles okay there you go from that angle sorry if you hear some noise that young jockey is scratching in a chair at the moment when he makes himself comfortable but that is the other side okay and then we'll have a look at the other two sides okay that's a view with the door and the windows I see I say I hope the camera picks it up well but you can see with when you put the frames with the windows and the doors as well they really do look good because they they're sunk back in more sort of thing like okay I will turn them around again sec okay there is the last side and as you can see the windows look absolutely stunning so it is well worth taking your time so I've built this bit today it's took me a fair few hours just to build this but then I will leave it today and uh, next day or so I'll build the second module which is exactly the same but a mirror image so I won't film with that one and then I'll do this one as part one with this build and then uh, part two will be when we start building the main part in the middle sort of thing like so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this so I know a lot of you watching have, have obviously made these Metcalf kits but a lot of people probably watching haven't just to show that it's not um, it's not rocket science it's just being careful take the time with it like and and when they're finished, I personally think Metcalf kits look fantastic when they're finished. Absolutely superb kits. So yeah, I will I will leave this one here. This will be part one. And like I say, when I start doing the, the middle part, that will be part two. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's, it's just an informative one sort of thing, like for people that haven't actually built these kits. Just to show you that it is actually very, very easy to build them. Just take your time, bit of patience, and they are they look absolutely stunning when they're built. So right, I will leave this one, which will be part one for now. And say all stay safe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments, good or bad, will be more than welcome. So I will put this video up, part one. And I will see you again soon for part two. So I will say bye for now. And all stay safe. Bye for now. Bye bye.